life, for life. 10 designer fragrances for life. What? Welcome to the channel where fashion meets fragrance. My name is Kevin Samuels and in today's video, I talk about if I could only have 10 designer fragrances for the rest of my life, what would they be? What the hell? But videos like this are hella cruel. If you like these kind of videos, cool. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel to turn on notifications for a future video and live stream update. Show your boy some love. 10 designer fragrances for the rest of my life. Oh my God, what a monumental task. Look, I can pick 10 fragrances from two houses that I like and they will last me a lifetime. So I had to sit down and really think about it. How would I do this list? And how would I make it make sense for you guys? What I decided to do was I had to look for a fragrance that would be signature scent worthy, that could be worn year round, almost in any season, but you also have to throw in things for clubbing and dating and special occasions and to just get 10, oh my God, and you know what? <laughs> look guys, this is a painstaking list, but I'm one of the ultimate criteria is each one of these fragrances had to be able to be worn by itself. When we look at fragrances like this, Bonafide bangers and they didn't make the list tells you how difficult it is to form a list like this. But come on, again, Bonafide bangers, classics, a great rose, a killer incense, but they didn't make the list? Wow, this was freaking hard. But it was my intent to not let you guys down, so I'm going to start out with one of the easiest dumb reaches of all time. Terry Mugler's Mugler Cologne. Yeah, Mugler Cologne. This is the dumb reach fragrance. You can never overspray this stuff. It's Irish Spring, fresh out of the shower, fresh. Survives any reason, any season, top down, top up, just a great fragrance. Any place on the planet, you smell like this is always going to be a good thing, and it doesn't cost a lot of money. Terry Mugler's Mugler Cologne starts off my 10 must have fragrances for life. Next, we're going to go to the house of Chanel, and we're going to go to Chanel Egoise. This spicy, sexy sandalwood fragrance is great, especially if you're a grown damn man over 30 years old. This is signature scent worthy. Smells so good, so underused, so underutilized. I still haven't finished all of my Chanel Week stuff, but I wanted to go ahead and get this video out. Chanel Ego East. I think more of you guys need to go put your nose on this one. Not platinum, the original Ego East. And if you can get the concentrate, <laughs> yeah, but don't sell a kidney for it. Chanel Ego East, another one of my 10 designer must-haves for life. Next up from the House of Hermes, we have Teddy Hermes. Look, I had to get something kind of citrus in here, but this citrus, gun flip, and vetiver fragrance, compliment monster. Honestly, I recommend this fragrance to most guys when they're building a basic fragrance wardrobe. It's one of the six fragrances I think any guy should have because it does so many things. So multifaceted, classy, classy, sophisticated, all the good things you want, simple, easy to wear, past the white t-shirt test, not enough good things to say about this one. The Terry Hermes is another one of my 10 designer must-haves for life. too good of a fragrance not to have in your collection and a must have for any man in my opinion. I always say this is the Marlboro Man steps off the billboard. Crisp, clean, masculine, sexy, especially if you're over 30. Over 30, get the eau de toilette. Over 40, get the eau de parfum. Sit back and let it roll. This one, this one, oh my god, this one. This one is so good that I actually had to make a small video clip and insert it into the video. Before I put up this little slow motion thing, but you gotta know about Tom Ford, great better, but Eau de Parfum, one of my 10 designer fragrances for life. Boom, from the house of Tom Ford, we have Tom Ford Noir. This is probably a surprise to you. Most people probably would have thought it would have been Noir Extreme. And yes, it would have been Noir Extreme, except this is an amber, musky, powdery fragrance that fits this one category exceptionally well. Noir Extreme is a more gourmand, it's a more round, better when warm weather, but this is that powdery fragrance. It also has a touch of class, a touch of sophistication, can also be blended with other things on this list that just make it more playful, more warm, more rounded, so many good things. One that's really overlooked in the fragrance community, Tom Ford Noir EDT. And yes, I have them all, the EDP, the Extreme, and the Anthracite, but this one? This one is special in its own right. Tom Ford Noir EDT, another one of my designer fragrances, must have for the rest of my life. Shocking, right? Following up Tom Ford, we have Chanel Allure Homme Edition Blanche. If you watched my videos last fall, I mixed this with Noir and I told you it did some incredible things. So it makes sense that they're on the list together. Again, this is one of the most underrated fragrances on the list. This is one of the most underrated fragrances from Chanel in my opinion. One that I kept walking by, but this, this, oh my goodness, 
it fills the lemon spot on my list. It fills that lemon sweet citrus kind of thing. Oh, so good, so good, so good. Allure Amadition Blanche, fantastic fragrance. No need to keep passing it by. And if I was only gonna have 10, this is the one I would have from the Allure line. Must have for the rest of my life. Get it. You knew it had to be on the list. Aqua de Gel Profumo, the best designer fragrance on the planet, period. That patchouli, that incense. Look, guys, I go in about this and all the time. No list would be complete without this masterpiece. Yeah, it's a masterpiece of designer fragrance in my opinion. And honestly, it was probably the easiest one to put on this list because it's so versatile. It performs, it projects, it's complimented, it's beast mode, sexy. Yeah, it's just so good, so good. If you don't have this one in your life, what are you doing? Aqua de Gio Profumo, one of the best designer fragrances on the planet, period, and one of my 10 designer must-haves for life. Easy one. I got a surprise for you. Carolina Herrera, CH Men. Not the CH Men Privé, CH Men. Why CH Men? Glad you asked. CH Men Privé. Actually a better fragrance, especially for date nights and romantic situations, but if you have to have a fragrance that's going to be able to be worn any season, any reason, for a lifetime, a lifetime, this is the better pick. Because it can go all the way from teens to death. It can be worn in any situation. Quintessential masculine, sexy elegance. This sweet nutmeg, cinnamon, leather thing that goes on. If you can get the vintage version, obviously it's better because it performs more, and that's the one thing against this fragrance. But again, the list isn't what 10 fragrances that would you want for the rest of your life. The question was, what are the top 10 designer fragrances that you'd want to have for the rest of your life? They didn't say you only had to get one bottle. I'm assuming I can get this refill weekly if I need to, so it doesn't matter how I perform. I can just douse myself with it, re-up, because if I'm only going to get 10, Carolina Herrera CH Man is one of those fragrances that I want for life. And of course, on House of Chanel, we have Blue de Chanel Eau de Parfum. You know it had to be on the list. A classic, dumb reach look, man. Again, one of these fragrances that can be worn in any season, any reason. That generic cologne smell. Guys, it just works. It works, it works, it works. All these fragrances are signature scent worthy. They can be worn, in my opinion, from t-shirt to tuxedo and just come off well. But this is my list. Again, I'm looking for a list that's going to go well from my teens, 20s, to 30s, to 40s, to 50s, to 60s, to 70s, to 80s, 90 to death. And all of the, and these fragrances fit that category. Look, there are a lot of other ones that could have made this list, but for me, this was a no-brainer. Blue de Chanel, Eau de Parfum, Chanel, one of the 10 designer fragrances that if I had to have for life, this would be one of them. Yep. And last up on the list, we have Spice Bomb Extra. No, we have Dior Homme. Yeah, Dior Homme. There's something about chicken in this fragrance. This Iris masterpiece is freaking phenomenal. Freaking phenomenal. Yep. Love it, love it. Can't get enough of it. Sandalwood, Iris. Ugh. Leather. You know I love this stuff. It's one of the three kings. Can't get enough of it. And as far as the designer, this is the one I would take and not look back. A lot of people would have thought Dior Sauvage, but nope, nope. Dior own for me because, again, I think this fragrance is criminally underrated. I don't think enough of you guys out there. I don't think enough of you guys out there actually put it on your skin and try to wear it. The entire line works in my opinion. Own. Oh. Sport. 2012-2017. Intense. Or the parfum. This one, this one, has a special place in my heart. This would be one if I had to have for the rest of my life. Life would be good every day. Oh, so there you go, guys. My 10 fragrances for the rest of my life. Again, what a difficult list to pull off. And I know some of you guys are going to be like, what? I wouldn't have picked this out and chose that. For... But again, I want to have something that's going to last 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, death. I want to have something that's going to be signature scent worthy. No restriction with season, no restriction with reason, and can be worn individually without having to blend, but could be blended with some other stuff. Declaration d'un soir almost snuck in here. As much as I love rose and blue, I just could not put this in and knock something else out, and I had to stick to 10. Again, it didn't fit the criteria I set. I set that criteria because it is difficult to whittle down such a big collection into such a small list. But don't just leave it up to me. Hit us up in the comment section. Guys, what is your list? What are your 10 must-have designer fragrances for the rest of your life? And what are your parameters? 
use some parameters that'll help you make a decision because I guarantee you when you start looking at these lists and you start looking at your fragrances you're gonna have some that you just can't let go but hey everything can't be in the list if you like this kind of video go ahead and give me a big thumbs up and share it out to anybody that you think used information thank you so much for watching and subscribing until next time talk to you later You want to stay connected? Follow me on social media. Links will be down in the description. Peace, two fingers, and I'm out. It's your boy. Woo! Hey guys, if you want to be your best, look good, smell great, and be your best each and every day, follow the link down in the description and book your one-on-one -on -one private Skype consultation. Details in the description. It's up to you. You only have seven seconds to make that great first impression. You might as well make sure you knock it out on a park.